Hi everyone, today's video is a what's in my camera bag video or what is my camera kit. Um, you'll notice the sound quality is quite bad in this video is because I don't have a microphone plugged in as obviously I've got to show you it now. So I suppose it's time to show you what my kit is. So as you can see there, that is my bag. It's a Dura Gadget bag. And it's meant to be black and it's looking a bit grey and shabby. But anyway, I'm going to show you what's inside. So, in this top pouch here, I have got, as you can see in there, I've got some lens cleaning solution. I've got a lens pen, you know, the um, brush. This here is a miniature screwdriver set because you never know when you need to open up your lenses. It's also good storage. Simple lens cleaning cloth, a microfiber one. Now these here are DIY rain covers. One is for a zoom lens, one is for a short fixed prime lens. And obviously the rubber bands to attach them with. This is a little clip. A um, little plain plastic clip just for hanging stuff off. So if you can hang your bag off your tripod to make it way more. And obviously a four pack of AA bat uh, AAA batteries which I use for my flash. So that's that done. Time to go on to the main compartment now. Now this bag as well retails for I think it's £10 or £11 on eBay which is obviously a bargain. So this here is my camera bag. Now, in this top mesh zip pocket thing, I've got my follow focus, which is just a jar opener, that you stick over the end of your lens, and then you can turn the handle to focus. Just a helping hand, really. This is a coupling ring, a 58 to 58 millimeter coupling ring, so you can join your two lenses together. So you can have one in reverse and one not. Um, a little memory card reader if I'm ever out and about and a computer I'm using or a laptop I'm using doesn't have a card reader. It's just a little cheap one. And this here is a laser pen <laughs> of all things. But it's also got a UV torch um, and a white torch and obviously the laser. And I use that for light painting. Now in this set Spare memory card, it's a transcend, it's a Wi-Fi memory card, so it connects immediately to my iPhone, so then I can automatically have them transfer over and I can use my phone then to upload and to share onto different sites. Um, spare body cap, you can always do with a spare body cap. A cold shoe foot adapter for your flash, tripod mount on the bottom, cold shoe at the top, or you can use it as just a stand for your flash on a hard surface. Some silica gel, because you always need silica gel. Stop any mould from growing. And here I've got two macro filters. One's a plus four and one's a plus ten. Just a piece of glass in the middle, some magnifying glass. And of all things to keep, this is a little bit of you know the bend bendy wire that you get around cables. Because that actually works as a good fastener for most things. Um, so now the main compartment of my bag. This is the lens I usually film on. It's my Pentacar. 1.8 50mm it's a PB mount and obviously it's manual lens and it goes up to f16 it's actually a really really good lens and this is my walkabout lens for street photography as well because you can set the focus over a large area and it keeps you going um, in this oh sorry no this here is just the velvet bag that my flash came in, but I keep it in there as a bit of protection for my camera. Obviously the camera goes in, in there. This spot is where the lens I'm filming on now usually goes, and it is a 20, uh, 28 to 105 Canon lens. There's the hood for it, and there's the lens cap I use for it, and also a UV filter which I use with the lens hood if it's raining out just to block the rain from getting inside my lens. And that's a collapsible uh, rubber hood if I prefer to use that. Uh, now in here's a 50mm uh, pancake lens. I'll actually take the bottom off this. Uh, 
Oh, broke it as well. As you can see there, that lens is just so small. It's you know, the thickness of your thumb. Um, I've actually bought this because it has got fungus inside. Yeah, you won't be able to see it there. Yeah, you won't be able to see. But it's got fungus inside, so I'm going to clean that up and then sell it on. I managed to pick that up nice and cheap. Um, here next then, some more silica gel, because it's always needed. And then the charging cable and the charger for the Canon batteries. Down there. And inside there then is the little um, sinking cable if anything should go wrong with a memory card or, you know, if I can't get a memory card out. Or if a computer doesn't have a memory card reader and USB ports. Um, sat here now. Now in here I've got a small cable release. It's called Shoot. It's just a cheap or Chinese one. You know, it's a little compact one. And I've also got my timer remote, which is obviously a lot bigger. So I use this when I want to do my uh, time lapse in, and I use the other one when I want to just have a small shutter release. And here I have my flash, complete with diffusing cap. It's the Godox TT520 Think Light Speed Lights, the same one as the Niwa and the Young Niwa. And it bends down. See up here now it's got the little um, diffusing panel and it's also got a bounce card. And that's that. It's actually a very, very good flash for the price of it. I think it's about £30. I'm going to buy another one soon as well. But anyway, there's that. And obviously the cap comes with. In here then I've got the radio um, transmitter and radio receiver for the flash. So they communicate each other. This goes on the hot shoe of your camera. And obviously your flash slides into that one. Here then, of everything to have, it's actually a charity band. Do you know the little rubber bracelet bands? It's because this lens I'm filming on now has zoom creep, which means that the zoom doesn't lock. So if you hang it upside down, the barrel will come out. So this here, I just stick over the zoom grip and onto the barrel and it stops it from sliding anymore. Just a handy little thing. I don't know what that is down there. Anyway, this is the 1855 kit lens. Um, never use it to be honest with you. It's perfect condition. I'm probably going to be selling that soon. And in here is that's a reversing ring, so you can stick the lens on backwards um, to reverse macro. Oh, that's some more silica gel again. So there we have it. That's what's inside the bag, as you can see there. And all these compartments are movable, and um, this strap is detachable and whatnot. Um, I also have some other stuff which I don't keep in my bag. And one of them is this, it's my 200mm manual focus lens, which is a very, very good lens to be honest with you. And it can focus, you know, you can see there in the focus markings it goes up to 150 foot before it reaches infinity. And the closest it focuses is 3 metres away, or 10 foot, which is quite a while away. Um, also, I have got my battery grip, which is a no brand battery grip, you'll see that I've done a video on this, the unboxing video. And again, this doesn't stay in this bag because there'd be no room for it. I suppose I could, no, I couldn't really, camera would be in the way. Anyway, there's the battery grip. Um, and then the other thing I have is obviously my microphone that I usually film with this, and it's the Audio-Technica ATR3350. And you'll also see in there I have a FIO preamp and the cable for it. And that's because of the um, audio compensation thing that's built into the Canon 600D, which makes everything nice and fuzzy. Um, so that's why I have that, to boost up the temperature of the audio. So that's my camera bag and all my gear. I would just like to point out as well that I don't actually take all this stuff out with me every time I go out um, doing some photography 
For example, if I was doing street photography, I would just take my camera, battery grip, spare batteries, spare memory card, um, I take the charger, um, I might possibly take the shutter release if I'm taking my tripod, which I haven't shown you yet. Um, but generally I just take camera, one lens, spare battery, spare memory card, um, and that is it really. I don't tend to take a lot of it with me because it obviously makes you a bit more of a target. And I don't take this bag either because it's obvious where it is. Um, and if it's not obvious, the zips go all the way around so, you know, it's not very secure. So instead I take a different bag which is all concealed and just looks like a normal bag. So I hope you like this video and I shall see you in my next one.